I am naturally buff. 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 <laughs> so how do you guys train? Training. I just do calisthenics, uh, weightlifting as well. Weighted calisthenics, that's my favorite. But I did calisthenics too before. Dude, that's what's up, yeah. Uh -huh. Extreme volume, extreme intensity. I've done like every split pretty much. I've done like push, pull, Arnold split. But I do bro split. I just do like isolation yeah, split. That's what I do. Yeah. If I just got back into the gym, so five days a week. So I am a power lifter. Um, it's pretty low rep, pretty high intensity. Right now I'm kind of like in my off season. So you, you would compete in powerlifting? Yeah. Does anyone yeah. else compete? You? No. no yeah. Yeah. I've never competed I before. I, I will thought say about that, it, but no. I will say that I compete in USA Pajama, which is like drug tested, so I can't. Yeah, oh, we know how that is. is. Yeah, like, I mean, I think Mr. Olympia is drug <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. And then I do high intensity, low volume. That's how I found I gained the most muscle. About a year ago, I was 120 pounds. Uh, I gained like 50 pounds of muscle in six months. Dude, you're definitely so, juicing. Well, come on, wait, hold on, hold on. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> How would I say that if I was juicing? Yeah. How much do you weigh right now? 165. How much does everyone weigh? I'm 165 as well. I'm like 195. Yeah, I weigh like 180, 185, it depends. Like, I went out drinking last night, so I don't even know what I'd weigh. Okay. Okay. Last time I checked was about 185 to 190-ish. You, uh, <laughs> you you strike me not at all, the calisthenics and stuff. So like, you're off my radar at least. Yeah, yeah. I'm exactly. just feel like being like an open book. Right like <laughs> yeah. Stereotype is kind of like the natural, like hardworking way. Exactly. Yeah, like the athlete X, yeah. that guy. You know yeah. that guy? Athlete X, yeah. Yeah. or Chris Arias. Yeah, that guy's a stars. fraud though, anyway. Yeah. How old are you? Huh? Uh, me? Oh. Yeah. I'm 27. I'm 23, 27, 19. 24. 24, 26. 26. <laughs> oh. So you're the youngest. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Think about this, people who's older has more time to potentially juice but throughout there, their lives. There's, there's a trend it's, right now of like younger guys that's like literally taking literally arms, taking like, People see like C-Bum or like all these big bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. As teenagers, like you want to be like them. Yeah. And so you're going to think like the fastest way to get there is juicing. Do you guys think that like that little kid, uh, Tristan, he's on juice? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I don't know who looks know good is. like year round at all times. It's like four eleven. Probably. If you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe, and let's get back into it. I could immediately tell when I saw Tyler that I was like, it was the shoulders. I was like, this is a big guy trying to hide under like a bigger shirt. Uh, People have always been suspicious, but it's just how I look, I guess. It's not really up to me, it's really up to the person. Can I take 20 seconds to clear myself? Because I sure. think I can. Yeah. All right, so I've been living for like only a year. I started out like my first six months vegan. I'm pre-med at college, so like I support others taking steroids, but I personally would never. So I'm basically, I'm focused on health, and I think it's contradictory to hop on juice. So you guys can question me all you want, because you tell them the truth. Okay. Well, how about instead of questioning, we just look at physiques. Sure, take off our shirts. Yeah, it's we kind of weird to say that, but let's just do it. <laughs> okay. You are worthy. You are enough. Hey, you sorry to interrupt. Are you okay? I don't know. I've not been feeling too well lately. I think social media is really getting to me. I feel you. I had to delete my IG. Have you tried talking to somebody about it? Not yet. I think even the thought of finding a therapist is so overwhelming. Have you heard of today's sponsor for this video, BetterHelp? BetterHelp makes finding a therapist super easy. You can find the right therapist for you, regardless of limited options in your area, to get the help and support that you need. Oh wow, this looks great. I just filled out a few questions and it says that I'll be matched with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. That was so easy. I feel a weight lifted already. Whether you have a clinical mental health issue you want to address, or you're simply a human in this world who's going through a hard time, therapy can give you some great tools to approach life in a different way. Consider online therapy with BetterHelp. To get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash jubileemedia. Thank you to BetterHelp for supporting this channel. Now, let's get back to the video.
I, I'm very against it. I think for yourself or just in general. In general, yeah, I'm very health conscious, so I, I would never consider it. So it's more the health than like cheating or like taking shortcuts. And or also both. the cheating as well. I don't believe in uh, kind of taking the shortcut to things in life. So. Okay. What about you? No. Never, never thought about it. No. Okay. No. Never thought about it. I'm gonna like touch it, get near it. No. Uh, I thought about it only because like every powerlifter, like everyone wants to squat above Especially like a certain amount. Like if you're gonna compete in like a competition where everyone's lifting like 800 pounds, but no, I don't really have the aspiration to. And I'm also scared of needles, yeah. so. I definitely thought about it. I mean, you see Larry Wheels like benching 700 or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, I'm not gonna act on it. Act Why not? The health? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Also, my parents would kill me. What's everyone's like educational background? I'm going to my second year of college, pre med chemistry. Pre med chemistry. Okay. So you know how to use a needle. I do. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys do for a living? I make like fitness YouTube videos. Okay. So you have a, you have like an incentive. I do have an incentive, yeah. but I also have a lot of people watching me that has uh, that looks up to me. So have you I made can. a video that you're natty? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious in my videos that I am that if you watch them, like, I'm like always like below average performance wise in them. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think it's always obvious because there are a lot of people that I know, especially like influencers that like you see them in real life, they don't even look like they work out. And sure. they're on stuff. What are all your bench press maxes? The most I've done is 215, but I'm going to try 225 soon. Hopefully, yeah. join two plates. You? Uh, like 365? Oof. 265 or 275. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mine is weak. Mine is like 315. Okay. Yeah, 275, but I have shoulder problems, so I can like rep 225 on incline, but I can't. Wait, what? On incline? 275? 275 flat. Yours is like 315, like like power lifting. Just like one, one rep. Power lifting like with the arch. Yeah. Okay. I was suspicious of Damon just because he was also pretty built and he had those traps, he had the shoulders, and he also seemed a little nervous too, so I kind of uh, figured that he was trying to hide something. You think that there could still be a mole or two moles in the box with you? Raise your hand on three. One, two, three. We voted out the like biggest, like strongest looking guys, I feel like. 19 year old and like you bench press like a yeah, lot. That, that you know, also, yeah. I kind of like I, when I, I was 19, yeah. like trust me, I didn't look like you, you know. Yeah. Like, I was thank like, you. I'll tell you how it Yeah, yeah. 50 no, pounds bro. of muscle mass, like 50 pounds to gain within that short time of you lifting. Yeah, it's a little suspicious. I mean, I was I was vegan for the first six months, realized that I couldn't put on like or I couldn't maintain that muscle. And so, are I you still vegan? No, I'm eating chicken, I don't eat red meat. Just for health reasons. It's crazy because um, even being vegan, that would even be like harder to maintain, yeah. like acquire. But if I don't eat red meat, would I take steroids? You have a medical background, so you understand it better, which means you know how to do it safely. Because there is a safe way to take steroids, technically. Is there? If you know what you're doing. No, I mean, you know, I, know, I know the dangers features. of it too. Like we researched that. Exactly, you know the dangers. So you know the right way to do it. In general, I, I'm very against steroids. I, I don't think anyone should take it. I think there's some people that do take steroids because they want to compete in bodybuilding. But a lot of those people fail to see the long-term downsides of taking steroids and that it will impact your health most of the time. Sense. You guys targeted me, but you guys both didn't raise your hands. So you're confident that's, that that's everyone true. in here is natural, but but you did it raise your hands, yeah. Wait, but then wait. you're you're going towards me. I honestly think that you're not on steroids, Brandon, because you know I've done calisthenics before, and this yeah. is totally achievable, like physique. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you are as well. You're just like a bigger guy, but like you know you just eat like a lot, and then you know a power lifter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but for you, uh, I, I What's up? you know you're young. You're like trying out new things. I don't know, like a lot of young kids are like, you know, trying to get into like fitness and do just like fast results. Can I see everyone's arms? Is that okay? Just go like this. Sure. No meal marks. Let's stretch marks. I'm just looking for IV marks because <laughs> if you get a lot of IVs, you tend to have yeah. a hole. IV marks. Show yours. Sometimes they go in the legs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking for like actual IV oh, to get tested yeah. type stuff. Right.
like salty sweet because it felt like a compliment, you know? They think I'm on steroids, I've only been working out for a year, it feels pretty good. Do you think that there is still a mole, or maybe even both moles in the box there with you? And you want to keep playing, raise your hand on three. One, two, three. You three confident? No. All right, if the box turns red, that means one or two of the moles are still in the box and they will split the cash prize. If the box turns green, that means there are no moles in the box and you three win the cash prize. One, two, three. I knew it. One or both moles could have still been in the box. Are you guys ready? The moles can sit forward on one, two, three. The moles won. They get the split job, cash guys. prize. And that's what you guys' stacks are. Well, I mean, I'm just on test right uh -huh. now, but I've done a little stuff, you know, sure. Yeah, for sure. So I tell everyone, guys, stay natural. The, the biggest goal in the life is to live on longest and live the healthiest life. But um, if you're gonna do it, do it safely. Do it with someone who knows how to do it. Do it with someone who's done it for years and years on end so you could do it the best way possible. But always stay natural. Honestly, man, chicks don't even like it. They like a Calvin Klein looking guy. Like, you know, they don't like the big teenage mutant ninja turtle looking guy like me, so. I don't know much about powerlifting, but I know that they all love orals. Like, so all I the actually, top guys like, for my love orals. When I compete, I actually did it naturally. So, oh, really? Yeah. It's better to do that and then. And then my squat's yeah. like 600, deadlift yeah, 600. I hopped on steroids right after my last competition. I was competing in powerlifting naturally. Um, squatted 600, deadlifted 600, and then I wanted to hop into bodybuilding. So I contacted my coach and I was just kind of like, hey, I wanna win, let's really go for it. And I got into contact with my doctor, my coach, my nutritionist, all of that kind of stuff, just to make sure everything was good to go. Hey, can I get to take my shirt off? Because I wanna do the post thing. No, it's okay, no, I'm just, I'm not just kidding. Uh, okay, if you want me to, I will. Yeah, yeah. I mean. carried me. He, I owe it to him. I should, he should have took the whole cash prize, but I got half, so.